Hi guys, this is Mohamed Shakil here and today I'm going to show you how you can generate the bill of materials in the drafting workbench of Kitsia V5. So after generating the drawing views of an assembly, it's very necessary that you generate the bill of materials. So the bill of materials is a table that provides you with the information related to the number of components in an assembly, their name, quantity and so on. So you can add the bill of materials to the drawing to display the part list of the components used in the assembly. So it's basically on the drafting workbench. So let me just open up the drafting workbench here. And I'm going to insert a view for this. So you have the view being inserted. So the bill of materials is placed on the drawing sheet and it's parametric in nature. So that is, if you add or delete a part from the assembly, the change will be reflected in the bill of materials on the drawing. So before generating the bill of materials, you need to apply the numbers to the components. This will be helpful in the uh, production of the serial numbers and it will in turn help you to the number of components while generating the balloons. So let me just generate the numbers. So go to the product structure tools and you have this generate numbers option over here. So click on this and show the software that uh, you need to generate the numbers for the product one. So you have the generate number dialog box here. And you have a couple of options over here that is the inter integer and the letters. So you're going to work with the integers and uh, existing numbers. You're getting this option because I have already generated a number for this particular product. So you can replace. You can click on the replace and click OK. And the numbers are being generated. So once you're generated with the numbers, go to the analyze and go to the bill of materials. So you are doing this option because uh, basically the numbers are not there. The number for the components are not there in the uh, default system. So you're going to define formats and you're going to add this uh, particular number from here to here. Sorry. From this, you're going to click this to this one. So you have a couple of uh, uh, settings over here. This particular arrow is used if you want to uh, take this display properties uh, from this particular option. You want to put it into the hidden properties. You can is use this option and uh, vice versa. You can use this particular button to take any of the property from the hidden properties to the display properties. So basically these display properties are the properties which is going to go which is going to uh, display on your uh, bill of materials and uh, you have a couple of options over here and another option is uh, if you want to place one of these options above you can use this and you can place it above so how it is done take the revision and just put it above the quantity that's how it works and you have the recapitulation option and uh, all the system is the same uh, which I have explained in the bill of materials so once you are done with uh, the reordering and uh, setting up the things for the display properties what you can do is just click OK and click OK over here so once you're done go back to our drafting workbench and now go to insert generation bill of materials once you click on this just click on the screen and the bill of materials will be generated as you can see over here so if you zoom in and if you see this you can see that each body, see the body over here is the first one and uh, this is serial number and you have the part number, have the name and the quantity of body being used. So you can see the wall, two walls are being used, three pins and split pins, three. So all the options according to the part number you have given, the name you have given, it's appearing on this particular section over here. So this is very helpful while uh, you are uh, into some production industry, manufacturing industries. So that's how you can uh, work with the bill of materials. So I hope uh, this uh, video is going to be helpful for your uh, drafting workbench projects. So keep watching, subscribe me, like my videos and uh, uh, give me suggestions, ask me doubts. Thank you so much for watching.